All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to try to show you how to do remote elevation measurements with a theodolite. So I looked online, there's plenty of videos on remote elevation REM measurements with the total station, but I didn't see any. Actually, I thought I saw one, but I didn't think it was in English. Uh, anyways, I can show you pretty quick what it's about. Uh, you have a benchmark. You're going to come over here. You're going to get height of instrument. And there you go, 107.62. That's your height of instrument. And then you're going to come over. You're going to... So it depends on where you set up. Sometimes you have options. Sometimes you don't. But in this case, we're setting up pretty much per perpendicular to this uh, line here, which is about the best. I would get reference angles horizontal, at least horizontal angles to your corners of your buildings and other, other stuff. Uh, so it, as you come over here, you flip it, you're going to transit this line down. Let's see, put a, like a, uh, wherever your line is going to be, kind of transiting that down. And then this guy is going to come over here, control H. And you're going to set up on that transit line that's directly above and below where you're, or directly below where you want it. Let's say you're shooting this window, okay? So it's directly below. You're going to come over here, you're going to shoot this corner, and then you're going to transit down. You're going to log your horizontal angle, and then you're going to get your, let's do this, E, control M, H, enter. So now we have, uh, then you can get the elevation of this one, whatever that would be. So let's do, let's actually go through and do some numbers in here kind of like how I would do it you'd have a, a 100 plus 7.62 it gives you height of instrument you could log your your benchmark here that wouldn't be a bad idea or your uh, new new point elevation to but for now we're just going to use the height of instrument and let's log that one zero seven point sixty two going to put that in store it in one and then you're going to go over here you're going to shoot the rod and you're going to get your height of that so it'd be 107.62 let's do that 107.62 minus 3.60 and equals 104.02 t 104.02 the heck t so there's that one and then uh, so that's pretty much it with that and then we're gonna oh and then we're gonna do we need to pull this dimension here it doesn't look right 107 to there H oh here we go So that's the horizontal dimension there. We're gonna go 57, uh, 59.17. Gonna store that in two. And then now we're gonna put in, we're gonna store that, uh, we're gonna turn that into the run because that's gonna be the run of our triangle. And then we're gonna measure with the theodolite, control, alt, uh, control, alt M A. Alt M A. Zoom in, pick this point up, control M, and not sure if I hit his hand or not. Oh, that, that's something that's interesting. So this was actually wrong. Hit his hand. 3.36. Then we can check that too. So let's go. 107.62, which is I put in 1 minus 3.36 equals 104.26. That'll be the height of that one. All right. And then we're going to go, we did the recall to, that's our run, 59.17. And you're going to pull that angle, Alt M A. Well, kind of going to pull that angle. Jeez.
see what we're looking for is that. I'm going to get control M. This is the point we're looking at. That's our shot. Control R. And it's pretty simple. Now we just go over to this one. We have 107, so we're going to add the height of this one here. So delete. Right now you're going to go, we're going to put in the pitch. So 21.15 point 10 so it already knows when she hit the second decimal it already goes into DMS for you and that's our pitch and then we're gonna go recall to run and then hit rise 23.01 so right here we have twenty three point zero one and you'll add that to plus recall one equals 130.63. Three, hit that one right there. And then this one here is V. do the same thing 25.01.06 and that's our pitch and I think I already know our run is no pitch and then recall one is run now recall two is run pitch should stay the same 25 Convert to DMS. Just make sure 21, 15, 10. No. 25.1.06. That's the pitch. Recall to is the run. And then we'll hit rise. So 27.62 plus. Recall one equals 135.24. I think that rounds up to 103.23. T10105. Point twenty-three, maybe twenty-four, I'm not sure. Uh, just depends on how you round it. That would go there. Twenty-three. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check those. <clears throat> so the last one will be here. Just so you get an idea of actual numbers. So Alt M A. Take another transit shot there. Control M. Angle. Thirty-three, nineteen, forty-three. All right. So recall two. That's going to be our run, and then uh, thirty-three point nineteen point forty-three is our pitch, and then our rise, and then we're going to add that to recall one equals one forty-six point fifty-three. Fifty-three, right. and then let's just do just double check those to make sure that they're right. <clears throat> That's weird. This thing's not showing it. Oh, there you go. Uh, so we're going to look at this one. One hundred six point fifty-three. One forty-six point fifty-three. That's good. And then here. Make sure I did the math right, and then 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.23, 135.
and then 130.63 and then we had this one originally was uh, 104.25 104.25 so I screwed something up there the easiest one for sure right 104 let's get that not right <clears throat> 104, 107.62, 107.62 minus 3.36, compute 104.26, 104.26, that's kind of why it's important to always go back and double check, 104.26, there you go. All right, so that, I hope that helps you understand the principle. Uh, it's important to keep track of your stuff, your benchmarks, your distances, how far back it is from the benchmark. Uh, so you have it, you know, uh, in, case there's a, in case you read the wrong stadia here, it'd be pretty easy to track down where that air, you know, something came from. Uh, your azimuths, I would keep track of your azimuths. Uh, the more perpendicular you are to the shot, the better you are, the more accurate. Uh, but you could turn around and just do the same thing, come over here, shoot this corner, transit down, get your elevation for the ground, and then get your shots going up. As long as it's not too steep, it's gonna be pretty accurate. Once your angles get really, really shallow, far away, you're gonna get more air. <clears throat> but knowing that angle with the horizontal angle, you'll get an idea what the air is too. So uh, you could go take those shots down and then maybe reposition and take a couple of more from a different angle to double check to make sure that they're correct. And that's about it. Uh, not really part of this, but kind of is. Uh, make sure you, when you're running your instrument that you're on stable ground on a good tripod. That's not touched enough. I think some of the biggest errors I've seen in the, on the in the field were not checking the legs properly. You know, slop in the in the legs uh, seems pretty rudimentary, but it's pretty super 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 important that you do it, especially in the beginning. Uh, when it's, you're working with new instruments and then periodically before the day starts you want to make sure the feet are tight the table's tight the leg clamps are tight all that stuff so uh, again hope that helps in your career and thanks for watching have a great day